Hello guys, Lee Power back here today for recording another video on Minecraft. In this video I am going to be showing you how to build the simple, well relatively simple, lever combination lock. So as you can see, if I put in the correct combination, door will open, but if I put in the wrong one like I just did, door will close. If I put in the, the correct combination, the door will open. If I pull down any of the wrong levers, the door will close. And also, if all of the levers are pulled down at the same time, the door will not open. The door will only ever open if only the correct levers are pulled down. If any of them are pulled up, the door will close. And if any of the and if any wrong lever is pulled down as well, it will close automatically. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. But yeah, so as you can see, the redstone looks. I mean, to be honest, it looks more complicated than it actually is and yeah guys so like like now th the way the whole thing is working is these two sides are getting linked up here by this little circuit and if you watched one of my previous videos which is like I think it was called different resto contraptions if you saw that video then you may recognize this because this is called an OR gate and I'll explain more about them right now in the tutorial we'll get to building them but yeah guys so so what you want to do to start off with is you want to place your wall block and go across three just like that up three like that then you'll go in one with brick then then behind that you want to place three sticky pistons going in and then you'll place more bricks going up like that and then you want to place iron blocks on their face. Then you want to leave a gap of four. Then you want to do the same on this side. Just like this. And the same in that gap, you want to place three sticky pistons and blocks of iron on their faces. Just like this. And on these, th on these two big, big blank walls, you want on the middle block, you want to place three levers like this on both sides. <coughs> Just like this. Now, now this is all depends. And now this is now this bit is important because it's because this will decide your combination. So if you want, so for your combination, if you want the lever to be up, place, you place redstone dust behind it. So if the, so if you want the lever to be up in your combination, you place redstone dust behind it. But if you want the lever to be flicked down, then you place a redstone torch behind it. So right now, I think I'm going to choose. That is my combination. So what you want to do is behind all of these blocks, you want to play. Well, actually, yeah, so you want to place these blocks just like this. But yeah. So as you can see, these levers are face down. These levers are face up. So what you want to do is out of the lever that's facing up, you want to bring the block. So basically, all the levers that are put face down. You want to leave one block gap and then place blocks. And the levers that's fa that are faced up, you want to have the blocks coming out from behind them. <coughs> so like, like the blocks heat out the lever. If you want the lever up, you want the so like, so for example, it's like if you want the lever up, <coughs> it's like if you want the lever up, you have blocks like that. But if you want the lever down, then you want blocks like that behind it. So if you want it up, you, have, you want the blocks connecting to the lever. If you want it down, you have the blocks one block away. <clears throat> but yeah, so then what you want to do is on the blocks that don't have, have so on so so behind the on these blocks that have the gap, you'll place redstone torches. And as you can see, if this has all been done correctly, they should immediately go off. And then on all of the other blocks, you will place redstone dust, just like this. As you can see, then what you want to do is you just want to staircase your way up, just like you can see that I'm doing right now. Then what you want to do is you want to have, so you, then you just want to leave that redstone up, and you want to connect it just like this. But now, as you can see, obviously, if I link that with the door, or like you may not know this, but if I link this to the door, or then, so, so if I link this to the door now, 
if any of these, if any of the sides are correct, it will open the door, which is not what you want. So instead, what you want to do is you want to have blocks coming out like that. And then you want to have repeaters coming here, both on one tick delay. Then what you want to do is you want to create, you want to place four blocks in front of them, four pieces of redstone, as you can see. Then it doesn't matter which, then you want to, Trail one down, just like that. And then you just want to lead that. So you just want to place a system like this. So you just want to place redstone torch, block, redstone dust, just like this. And then you want to break out the blocks that have the redstone torches on. And for the tutorial, I'm just going to place yellow concrete there. And then into that, in, then into the block with the redstone torch on it. You want to have a repeater on one tick delay, just like this. And then, what, then if you then if you want to, you can actually eat, extend this out. So you don't have to do what I'm doing with replacing that with yellow. I'm just doing that for, for the tutorial. And then you just want to connect these up. Then what you want to do is you then just want to turn on this, just like turn on this down, and you just want to connect this. However, keep in mind, redstone can only travel up to 15 blocks, so, so just to be safe, I'm going to place a repeater there, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, alright, good, <clears throat> so that should be working now, yeah, just like that, as you can see. And that's pretty much the whole system. So as you can see, none of the levers are flipped, none of the levers are flicked. So obviously no output is going to it. But if I put in, in a combination, door opens. If I flip one of them up, door closes. But then and then if I flip one of the incorrect ones down, door closes itself. So the door will only open if you get the correct combination. And with this kind of design, if you flip all of the levers down at once, as you can see, the door will not open. There are many combination locks, where if you flip all the all of the levers down at once, the door will open. But with this system, even if all of the levers are flicked down, it still won't do anything. So for the door to open, you actually need the correct combination. If one of the levers are flicked down wrong, or one of the correct levers are flipped up, Nothing will happen. You need the correct combination for the door to be open. Right, guys. But so that's the that's the tutorial part of this video done. However, now now it's come down to the part of the tutorial where uh, I'm actually going to explain in depth with how this whole system actually works. <clears throat> so as you can see, so if I put in the correct combination like that, so you see. It's wrong. If I, so if I do that now, door opens. So I'll show you how it works. So, 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 so. In case you don't remember from the beginning, I'm gonna quickly go through it again. So, so you wanna have a system like this. Now, so all the levers that you want to have flipped up, you have redstone dust behind it. And all the levers you want to have flicked out when you place a redstone dust behind it. Then if I have a redstone torch here, you see, if I flip all of them down at once, that's still off. But then if I flick these two down, you see, up, you see we're getting a redstone output, as you can see. If I've got the, re the correct combination, I get myself a redstone output. But if I get the wrong combination, like this, as you can see, if I get the right one, I'll get an output, but if I get the wrong combination, as you can see, the output immediately gets shut off. So, that's just like a very like quick like summary of how it works. And it's the same thing with this full scale version here. So, <clears throat> so, so to create this combination, like, it is the same like concept on both sides. 
as you can see. Obviously, they're just in different positions. So, because obviously, remember, so all the levers that you want flipped up, you want to have redstone behind it. And all the levers you want to have flicked down, because there's some torches behind it. And then what you want to do is, is if you want to have just a wall come, if you just, if you just want to have like just this, just one wall, then you could just run that straight into pistons. However, if you've done what I've done and you want to have multiple levers on both sides, then you're going to need this system, which is called an AND gate, which means, so in, so if, in case you don't remember from, uh, so in case you guys don't remember from, from this video, as you can see, just like, a, just like over there, uh, this, this circuit is being used over there, and if you remember correctly, this circuit is called an AND gate, so obviously, you'll only get an output if both of these are down. Now obviously we're using the same concept over here. So the door will only open if both so both of these outputs need to be correct. So if they're correct, you'll get no redstone output from either of these. So both of these need to be off. Which means this redstone has to be off, which will allow this redstone torch to come on. Which will go down here and turn off these torches and the redstone above which will open the door so so, so the door will only open so thanks to this AND gate the door will only open if you have the correct combination because as you can see it, as soon as the combination is wrong just send, um, look, so this is the lever that I just flicked that on so it's adding more so it's sending power through this redstone current which is forcing this it's a redstone tray or on, and which immediately turns off this torch, which means the combination is wrong, therefore closing the door. But however, if I get the if the combination is right, then and both of these will be off, which means this redstone tray is off, which which will allow this redstone torch to give an output. Because obviously, if you guys don't know, obviously, so if you send output. If you send a redstone signal to a redstone torch, so if you send, obviously, so there's no redstone signal going to a redstone torch, then it will work. However, as soon as you send power to that redstone torch, it will deactivate, thus unpowering any like adjacent redstone. But yeah, guys, so that's pretty much the gist of it, and. And therefore, obviously, we can see combination locks can get a lot bigger and a lot more complicated than this. Like this is only a four-digit combination lock. It's like you can, like you can create a combination lock, like I don't know, like, like twenty digits if you want to. And no matter how big you make it, it's still like it's still the exact same concept. But because see, this is only on one level. So, <coughs> excuse me, guys. But obviously, yeah, obviously this is only on one level, so you just need one level of it. But if you want to have it on multiple levels, then I might then I might make a video showing you how to build a combination lock with multiple like layers of levers with all that with them all outputting out. But yeah, guys, so so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So obviously. If you guys want to see more of these resident tutorials, then then just let then let me know in the comment section below. Uh, and if you did enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, and turn notifications on by clicking the little bell icon so you never miss a new video. And help me get to 250 subscribers. And comment down below any tutorial, any Minecraft resident tutorials that you guys want me to do in the future. But yeah guys, that's all from me. So I want to thank you all very, very much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. But until then guys, stay happy, stay awesome. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.